Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 19 tutorial. Today we are talking about sheep. So, the first thing you have to do is buy a sheep pen. So if you go into your garage, place bowls, animal pens, all the way to the end you have a small one and a large pasture. The large one holds 250 sheep, small one 80. So buy the one you want or uh, multiples. You will see here in the bottom left that you need um, grass or hay and water. So sheep do not require straw. You just have to feed them and water them. So go ahead and buy that and then find a large plot of land and plop it down. Um, okay, I'm not sure. I must. Okay, anyway, and that's it. And then you have uh, your sheep pasture. I already have one started, so once you have your pasture, go over here. I'll bring up the controls and go to open animal dialog. And this is where you can buy your sheep, so just kind of double click and you'll have a running total here and then buy it. Um, I don't use animal trailers because it just, I, I just don't like it, so I just prefer spending the extra hundred or two to uh, just buy them from, right, from the farm. Um, now we have our sheep, and if we go into our animal dialog box here, you will see how many you have, and all your stats, cleanliness, water, grass, or hay, um, and productivity. So, let's first give them water, and I'll show you a little bug that's kind of strange right now. So if you get your water tank, this is just in the garage under animals right here, just this uh, water transport tank. This water like building, water tower, is under placeables, miscellaneous, and water stations. So just plop that down. It's really cheap. Um, and then you can go refill. Well, you should be able to. You'll see in the top left in the controls it says start filling, and when I hit the button, it does. Um, there was a little bug earlier where it wouldn't fill. And I found out to fix it, if I just built a placeable of something, it would allow me to fill again. So I, hopefully they'll patch that bug at some point. But if you get to a point where you cannot fill up your tank from the water tower, just build like another water tower or some cheap placeable and it should let you uh, refill it again. So a little weird, but it's early days for this game right now. So go over to the water part of the sheep and hit uh, the overloading function, uh, I on the keyboard, and there you go. Now for feeding, whoops, I want my pallet fork. You can give them grass or hay, so you can get your mower, your loading wagon, mow, load, dump it in, etc. Or, in this game, you can buy hay bales. So if you go to uh, this part of the, the objects part of the shop, go to bales, and for $650, you can buy a bale of hay, which has 4,000 units of hay, which is, I would, I think is a really good deal. Um, I have, I don't know, 20 sheep, and their max food is like 8,000. So it's only a couple hay bales, lasts six or seven days. Um, so to use that, you don't need a bale fork. You can just use your pallet fork, which you'll need for the wool anyway, so just go over to your um, hay bale. It is important to note that it'll use the entire bale and max out the food, so like right now I'm going to use all 4,000, but it's only going to give me 2,000 because that's all the food it can hold right now because of the amount of sheep, so just be wary of that. But you just sort of like drop it here and it'll disappear. And when we go to our animals, you'll see that it, oh it actually uh, because I just bought some sheep, um, it gave me 4,000 liters of hay. So I think that's a really easy and nice way to feed them. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than buying the mower and loading wagon and all that, but of course you do what you uh, prefer. Now, once you water them and you give them food, you just wait and their wool will automatically be collected in these pallets. Uh, in this little square, so you just have to take them off with a pallet fork. I bought this wagon here 
which is under animals. Bailing technology. Yep, way over here. Bailing technology, this Flegel. Um, you can lease it if you need to or whatever. It's uh, It holds, I would say, probably 12 pallets. You can maybe stack them and get to 24, um, but that would be pretty heavy. Uh, but I think this is probably the best way to do it. I could fit two pallets in the back of my pickup truck, um, but then I was taking a lot of trips, so I finally just invested in this trailer. But you just carefully, more carefully than I am, um, just remove it. If you don't have a trailer, just take it off the square. Just set it in the grass. Um, just get it off of there somehow. Put it in there, and um, you can probably do it better than I can. I'm just kind of trying to hurry for the video's sake. And now, once you have as many as you want, you need to take it to the spinnery. So if you look in your prices and you go over to the little wool ball, like the ball of yarn here, uh, the spinnery is the only one that takes it. So you'll have to look at your map. And on our map, the spinnery is down here. So I will cut to the spinnery so we can unload. All right, so we are at the spinnery. And we're going to go in this square and see how well it sells them without... There we go. Luckily, this trailer is low enough to the ground. Oop, the camera's a little weird. And there we go. Um, each pallet, a full pallet, is a thousand uh, units of wool. So whatever you see in the price chart, uh, this 948, that is what you will get per full pallet. Um, so it's not a huge money maker, but it's also not difficult. So that is really all there is to sheep. Just feed them, water them, and take away their wool. So that is sheep. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this uh, tutorial helped. Please leave a comment or question below if you have one. Hit the dislike or like button, depending on your feelings about this video. And, of course, as always, have yourselves a very nice day.